guys, welcome back to Hi God Sam, my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about reviewing a hair dye from Clairol Nice and Easy. It's the Natural Dark Brown um, number four, the Foreman used to be 120. So if you want to know a little bit more about that and my experience with it, then just keep watching. So this is the colour that I have on my hair right now. Um, most of you guys know that I had blonde hair before because I just recently, very recently done it, but I wanted to go for a change. And um, I decided that that was a bit too yellow for me and a bit like quite a, a big drastic difference for my black hair. So I purchased a different hair dye from Nice and Easy and I've made a video for that for you guys and I'll link that in somewhere on the screen. And it was a natural caramel sort of brown colour that was apparently supposed to make my hair more caramel brownish. But unfortunately that turned my hair ginger and I was a bit like, oh my god, what am I going to do? So um, I ran to the town centre and where I'm living at the minute in Blackpool and purchased that um, natural dark brown colour and that's what I've got on now. Um, so basically what happened was um, I picked up my Scott Cornwall pre-colour clarifying treatment, washed my hair with it. Um, I rave about this in all my videos just because it takes out every bit of product build up in your hair, any residue of any oils, it just takes out everything. Like I do so many different things, mousses, waxes, pomades, colour sprays, hairspray, just everything, serums, oils, and it just takes out all of that. Um, it's supposed to just help your hair take the colour pigments longer. It does advertise that it actually, I don't know, it just makes them grip onto the hair shaft a lot easier, which is obviously good. It means that you get more of an even coverage, which is what I was hoping to get to get rid of that ginger colour. I will put a picture in for you guys of what my hair actually looked like if I can find one. It was just really horrifically ginger. And then this comes with, so that's why I picked up this. I was hoping it wasn't going to be as dark as this because I was actually liking the blonde and I'm a bit disheartened that it has gone this dark but I'm hoping that after a few washes it will fade and go a bit lighter um, and it'll be more brown than rather because right now it just literally looks black. I don't know if you guys can see but um, it was supposed to go to like this sort of colour which is like a dark Maybe, I wouldn't say chestnutty colour, but it's like just a dark brown, but you can distinguish it from black, whereas I feel like mine's just black. It's very black. Um, and one of the reasons that I picked this up, because it has the blend of three tones all in one step, which was a reason that I kind of wanted to try it. I was like, oh, it'll be really good because it'll give me that multi-tonal sort of colour. It'll add like a nice sort of dimension to my hair and it'll make it look like it's been done at a salon rather than just being done at home rather than a box dye. It comes with an actual um, blue bottle of hair dye. A, your actual bo applicator bottle has a developer in it which you mix together. Shake that all up. You put it on your hair all over. I don't actually have a video of that but I will make one. Um, and I will make one for you guys of this actual hairstyle because a lot of you guys have been requesting it and I just never get around to making it but I will do it at some point. So yeah, um, and then you just slap the hair dye on. I left it on for, it does say 20 minutes, but you can do a strand test to try and determine like your own personal individual development time, but I just went with um, longer than 20 minutes, even though it said 20 minutes. Um, they said that if you have stubborn braids, you can leave it on 45 minutes. So I was like, okay, I'll just put it on 45 minutes, then it will be fine, nothing to worry about. I just wanted the ginger to be gone, to be fair. And in that respect, it has got rid of all the ginger, like my hair doesn't have any sort of gingery tone to it, it's literally just black. So I definitely would recommend it if you this colour if you want to cover up any sort of mishap hair colours or hair colours gone wrong or hair disasters or anything like that because it does give it hasn't really given me any sort of multi-tonal colour I feel like that's a negative to it it has just given me sort of a flat colour but it has got rid of the ginger so I'm quite happy with it and I would recommend it because the conditioner that it comes with which is just looks like this you can buy that individually as well makes your hair feel so soft, so shiny and it just, I don't know, it just you feel like you haven't done anything to your hair like obviously my hair's been through so many chemical processes right now I've like, I bleached it twice to go blonde, toned it, dyed it then dyed it again to go dark and then dyed it again to get this colour that I've got now 
So um, I felt like, oh god, um, obviously I've put my hair through so many chemical processes, it must be getting damaged, but that condition just makes it feel like how it used to feel before I even started dyeing my hair. So yeah, I definitely recommend this company um, if you just want to go darker or you want to cover any sort of hair disasters up. Yeah, so that's pretty much my opinion on the hair dye. If you have any questions, any queries, feel free to write them in the question or comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. You can follow me on Instagram, it's sam underscore but one two one. I'm more than happy for you to um, follow me on there, comment on my pictures if you really want to, or ask me questions like that or contact me via direct message and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.